Good morning, guys. It is currently 6.08 a.m. And today's the day I'm getting my life together. It's 6.30 and I'm officially out of the house. It feels so weird to be out when it's still dark out, even though this used to be pretty normal for me, but I got so out of the swing of things whenever I was wedding planning and I just put working out at the very back of my agenda. Like I was so focused on getting sleep and not working out for whatever reason. Even though working out for me is so much more than just the fitness aspect of it. So I honestly wish I hadn't taken a break because now getting back into it seems so hard. But the first step is getting out of the house and I did that. And today honestly is gonna be like a whole vlog just about getting my freaking life together. Cheers, we got some pre-workout. I do not remember the Solani new pre-workout being so freaking sour. And I'm wondering if I didn't add enough water or something. It's like really, really sour. Hi, old friend. We did it. Here is the workout stats, if my camera will focus. 54 minutes, 216 active, 279 total calories. And I did not record my workout, obviously, because it was like my first time back to the gym in a while. And I just wanted to focus on my workout. And also, like, it's kind of stressful recording sometimes. It was busier in there than I thought it was going to be. look like an absolute bum but this is what I'm wearing to go spray tan really quick and I started my nails I'm literally right in the middle of them I'm doing them like square I haven't done this shape in a while um, and this is just dip with the tips and I'm not done yet though like I did the three coats of dip but I still have to file them and do the top coat and everything I'm just gonna go get my spray tan though and then immediately like wipe it off because I feel like it would be better to not be finished with my nails that way the spray tan doesn't mess it up because I'm doing white normally it doesn't really affect it but if I'm doing white I feel like it could make them discolored, so that's the plan. Ew, I am so pale, but we're about to fix that. I just got to zoom tan. I'm gonna do a level three because I want to leave it on for less time, so I'm gonna do a level three instant, so I'm gonna be like bronze goddess. I only ever do the level three if I'm trying to rinse it off really quick, so if I do it overnight or something, then I don't do that, but it seems to work pretty good if I wanna rinse off quick. Just finished my spray tan. I'm not showing you guys my face because it always ends up looking blotchy right after I spray, but look at my legs nice and tan. We're in the Starbucks drive through now. I'm gonna grab an iced coffee and then head home and finish my nails. We are back and we have a coffee marinating in my spray tan. So I just changed into this loose fitting robe and we're gonna start doing my nails again. I went through a billion different dip powders and then just decided to go with white because I'm annoying and color scares me. These might be my favorite nails that I've done so far and not because of how simple they are but because of how flawless they are like I have never done my nails this good in my life these look like I went and got a full set done of acrylics and they're just tips and dip powder and I did it myself and I'm so proud normally I end up having bumps and stuff but not this time also I rinsed off my spray tan like way too early but I really wanted to put makeup on today so that's why and I made my makeup like kind of glowy and pretty and then I have my hair in like this really tight bun because it's dirty. It's a bit later and you can totally see my bra through my tank top. I don't really care. It's a nude bra and it still shows through because this is like really see-through but it's from Target and it's comfy so I don't care and I'm wearing my Abercrombie jeans and my white Converse and I just wanted to put on somewhat of a cute outfit because I need to take a sponsored Instagram picture for Windsor and I have this green jacket that I've literally been wearing all the time. Let me go grab it. I wore this during my honeymoon when Chad and I were in St. Augustine. I just love it so much. It's like a 
suede like felt jacket. Just really cute to throw over something basic. I have a new vlog going up that's all kinds of behind the scenes stuff for running my online boutique. And I can't wait to share this with you guys because so many of you guys wanna see behind the scenes and I can only show so much in like a normal day, but this one I completely centered around the business stuff. So if you're into that, you're gonna love this vlog. And it's going up today. So by the time this video goes up, then you'll probably have already seen it. It's six o'clock now and I am at the fire station and I'm waiting on Chad. He wanted me to come for dinner tonight cause he is doing a training in Orlando and I'm going to see my sister in Tampa this weekend but because he's on shift today doing hazmat training and then leaving for this training in Orlando tomorrow, I literally won't see him all the way until Sunday and today's Wednesday. I'm looking for my Apple watch and it's not on, it's Wednesday. So, you know. We don't like to go that many days without seeing each other, so um, I'm here to have dinner with him, but he is on a call. So I'm just sitting in my car and I'm gonna fix my hair. I had it in that low bun all day, but I'm kind of over the low bun, so I think we're gonna do a high pony. I should go inside and show you guys because he gave me the code to get in. Cause I don't know how long he's gonna be gone, and then I could show you guys like you know, a little fire station tour. Okay, we opted for a little bun, and I pulled out my bangs, which are really long now and I'm definitely not going to cut them um again as short as they were but I kind of like them this length because even though they're not like really front bangs and they're not also not styled right now so it's a really bad example but whenever I do style them like kind of um curtain bangs they look really cute but they're a little bit thin for curtain bangs I'm honestly getting a little bit concerned because I haven't heard anything usually if it's not a very serious call he'll send me a text let me know he's coming back like if I'm at the station waiting or something I haven't heard from him so I'm like knowing my luck I just got here and he's like got a cardiac arrest or something serious and I'm gonna be here all night. I hope it's not cardiac arrest for the person and also because I'm hungry. <laughs> Good morning guys. I thought I would do a little chit chat get ready with me while I'm doing my makeup. I had a pretty relaxing morning this morning and I wanted to just come on here and talk to you guys. I didn't end up recording in the fire station but we went and got ice cream and had dinner. And it was really nice because once Chad got back, he never had to go on a call the whole time, which is always risky when I come see him because he might have to like leave, but it was really nice. And the call that he was actually on when I was there was a fire, so really funny because even though firefighters, obviously firefighters, a lot of the calls they run are medical and he happened to be going and running um, a fire in someone's kitchen. So I just thought that was crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna do my makeup for the day using my Airbrush Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. I had my therapy appointment, which went really, really good. Um, there's like, the book that I was reading this morning is actually one that my therapist recommended. And she, she recommended this specifically for me because of childhood trauma and like me carrying a lot of shame and guilt for things that I went through as a child that were beyond my control, but they affect me a lot and my mindset and just like issues that I have today result from that. Psychology is really interesting. It's why I'm really, really enjoying therapy because I'm learning so much about myself and about why, you know, the things I don't like about myself and like why I'm the way I am, you know? so that I can make changes and become a better version of myself. One of the things that I struggle with and I feel comfortable saying, cause I know a lot of people do, um, is impulse spending. Like I have a real problem with that. I chase that high that I get when I make a quick impulse purchase, but a lot of times it's something that I don't need at all. A lot of it is also Amazon purchases, which I feel like is just our generation right now with like TikTok and Instagram, like everyone's always sharing Amazon finds and I love Amazon and I have found a lot of really good stuff. A lot of the things I use on an everyday basis were 
you know, something I found on Amazon. But it's really, really easy to fall in the rabbit hole of constantly making these little purchases on Amazon. And it's like just $20 here, you know, 15 here, but like it adds up. And so that was like one of the things we were addressing and like, where does that come from? And for me specifically, like I know that it comes from a place of my childhood. Like I didn't grow up having any money and I was told no a lot, like I couldn't have anything. There were so many like Christmases where I didn't get any presents or birthdays where, you know, there were just no gifts because there was no money. And so as a kid, I always hated that. And so I think when I became an adult and finally started making my own money, I like am in a way trying to like make up for that. And so I always want to give myself everything. Um, but you know, there comes a point in time where you got to realize like the bigger picture here. And I want to, um, have a savings account that's bigger than what it is right now. Chad and I obviously don't want to live in this house forever. This is our first home together, but eventually we want to get out of here. So I guess like I'm just trying to be a lot more mindful of my spending and make less impulsive purchases. And to start doing that, I'm going to get back to budgeting. I took like a major break from budgeting, um, but I'm going to get back to it and I'm going to start using this app that I found that I can manually track everything because I think that's gonna help me see where my spending is going. And then as for the impulsive purchases, I'm going to not be impulsive. I'm gonna make myself stop even if I don't want to, even if I think it's something I need, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna actually stop and think about it and write it down. So that was something that I read online that's like supposed to be really helpful is writing down the thing that you want and giving yourself time to think about it so you can figure out if it's something that you actually would want or need or if it's just you know an impulsive thing because you're bored or you're doing it out of habit or in my case it literally brings me happiness like making unnecessary purchases it's so stupid so i just need to stop <laughs> but yeah let me know if anyone else struggles with the impulsive purchases so i feel like this is like very much you know, it has to do with me and my past, but it also is a lot to do with like our generation and the social media world is just constantly like encouraging you to spend money, I feel like. And I can be, sorry, someone just knocked on the door and that just scared me really bad. It's probably just a package, but oh, yes, it's just a package. That scared me way more than it needed to. Clearly, I am just at home in my little zone. Anyway, so what I was saying was that I feel like the Instagram world and TikTok and social media in general is just always encouraging us to spend money. And it's really funny because like I myself am considered an influencer or whatever, but like I follow a lot of influencers and I am easily influenced. So like I swear if someone says like, this is really good, like I will just go and buy it. Like I won't even think about it. Do I need it? No. What? Like, I have to start telling myself no. Things don't equal happiness. That's what I'm trying to teach myself. It's really, really stupid that I have made that connection that like my happiness has to come from buying little things. And I don't mean all of my happiness. Obviously, there are plenty of things in life that bring me joy. But why is it that spending money, little bits of money like that, make me so happy? I don't want to be that way anymore. And... I want to get a lot better about saving my money and I hate that like I'm just now kind of coming to this realization but you know therapy has taught me things so that's my little chit chat I don't know what else to say I'm gonna finish up my makeup um and then I have to finish packing I'm going to Tampa this weekend to see my sister so I have to pack up orders take those to the post office and I need to run to Target and I'll be heading out this afternoon. I always do that. I always go to look at my watch and I don't have my watch on. I don't like wearing it when I self tan because it makes like a line around here. It like makes my um, spray tan come off. I'm at my storage unit now doing some stuff for Sunstyles. I've accumulated this massive bag full of trash. Okay, from going through all my inventory and all those boxes. Well, we have lots of new stuff coming. Um, and I just packed up these orders and I'm just grabbing something for my sister that she wanted since I'm going to Tampa this weekend. She wanted actually these jeans, the super popular jeans that everyone loves because I only have literally three pairs left. Um, but they're these mom jeans that I have worn pretty much every day of my life since I got them. <laughs> I'm in the Starbucks drive through now. I'm going to grab my coffee. And before anyone says anything about my unnecessary <laughs> spending that I just had a whole spiel about this morning, um, I have a gift card already loaded onto my app. So I'm paying with that and I'm not actually spending any money so I can justify it. 
Also, I got these new bags in for Sunstyled and I am so obsessed with this bag, you guys. I'm gonna try to see if my sister will help me while I'm in Tampa this weekend, shoot some content, and then if I can get her to help me, then maybe um, this and a few other things will go live this weekend instead of waiting until next week. How cute is this bag? Like, it's such a pretty color. My favorite, like, neutral beige color. I am home. And I got my coffee and I actually got it for free, you guys. Because I actually ordered a caramel macchiato and their espresso machine somehow broke between the time I ordered and got to the window. So I had to order an iced coffee, but they gave me it for free because of the inconvenience. I'm gonna do a little PR unboxing. Obviously, this goes without saying. I mean, most people know PR is stuff that you get for free, so I didn't spend my money on this. I just feel like really stupid over here preaching about like, hey, I'm trying to get better about spending money and then I'm over here like opening all this stuff. But um, yeah, it's just PR. So I actually opened these two and just like took a little peek, but I wanna show you guys. This one I didn't open and I'm pretty excited about this. So this first one is from Kendra Scott, which seriously is one of the most exciting PR packages to get. Like the fact that I'm on their PR list is amazing. Um, I love getting stuff from them. So the first thing, and I'm actually gonna put this on now, I think, is this really, really pretty bracelet that matches my rings that I already wear there from Kendra Scott. Like, see this one with the hearts on it? Like, I have it over here as well. This has the same little hearts on it, and it's just a little bracelet. This is a chain link necklace, which I literally wear these all the time, but this one is so cute because it has, like, diamond studded every other link. Oh my gosh, and literally, like, where it connects is a um like the opening is one of the links so it doesn't ever look like my necklaces always like spin around and then you have like the clasp showing these are so pretty oh my gosh really really pretty neutral color okay then next first aid beauty favorite skincare brand to receive any kind of pr from um and this is actually perfect because i have super dry skin you guys like whenever someone asks me what my skin type is i never really know what to say because it's not like i just said it's super dry but it's not like you know desert dry but lately i feel like it has kind of been desert dry so i'm pretty excited about this this is your hydration destination we got ultra repair oil control moisturizer the firming collagen cream i used this for a while and loved it and then obviously the ultra repair cream which i use like pretty much every day love this shout out to first aid beauty and kendra scott so both of those brands i have got pr from before but this brand i have never got anything from before and they wanted to gift me some new bras which is amazing um i am so excited because this is actually my favorite brand to get bras from ever like victoria's secret who i never wear victoria's secret bras anymore because i just think they're really cheap and they don't last very long soma you guys is where it's at so if you're looking for a new bra I'm about to do a little bra haul. I got their bras um a few months back after my sister-in-law recommended it and um I only have two of them right now and I literally like swap back between these two bras 90% of the time because I don't wear my Victoria's Secret ones anymore because I don't like them. I also have a couple from Target that are just like okay but these bras oh they like blow it out of the water for me. They're so good. I would try them on for you but that's probably a little weird. Um, I don't know. I don't know how my husband would feel about that. So I won't, especially because the guys from the fire station literally watch my videos. Part of the reason I didn't want to vlog while I was in there because I knew they would be giving me a hard time about it. But I'm still going to do a bra haul because most of the people who watch my videos are girls. So actually, let me take these out of the packages. Okay, here's my little bra haul for you guys. So these first two, this black one and this white one, I currently already have in um like a dark color and then like a nude color it's like my everyday bra that i'm obsessed with um and it's called the ah, embraceable perfect coverage bra so i have it now in black and then also in white and i love these bras they are just super comfortable perfect for every day and they're really really soft and then these three are all new ones of course i just pick nude because i just feel like it's the easiest it goes with everything and you don't have to worry about it you know showing up through a shirt or something but this one is like super soft i guess this is more of like a t-shirt bra so like for the days when i'm just wearing a shirt around the house i don't really want to put an actual bra on um this one's called 
the Endless Bralette. And then this one actually is a bra that is always hyped up about. Like I've heard about this bra a lot, but never got it. Um, mostly because I just didn't want to spend money on a bra that I didn't know for sure. It was like an everyday bra. It's more of a comfortable bra. It's completely wireless and it's called the Endless Wireless. <laughs> So that one and lastly this one is actually a um strapless bra so you can take the straps off and make it completely strapless the m bliss stay put strapless so i'll let you guys know my thoughts i'm gonna link all of these below in case you guys want to check them out um if there's any kind of a discount or anything i will also put that on here come on we're gonna go see aunt sarah okay so i'm gonna show you guys how i put him in the car we brought him with us on our honeymoon and we have like a good system because he always wants to go up front but we have him on a seat belt so he can't but he like tries so hard and he ends up like trying to scratch up the middle console we have his seat belt that we hook to the bottom of his harness i can take this off now so i put my pillow here his blanket and then underneath is his little dog bag to just kind of create a cushion for the pillow to lay on and that way when he tries to come up here he can kind of lay right here and be close to me, but he's still buckled in his seatbelt. So that's my little system in case you ever travel with a dog. And first step is post office. So I'm gonna drop off these packages and then we are heading to Tampa. Finally made it to Tampa. I seriously cannot believe that what's normally a like two hour drive turned into over three hours. Grabbing Trooper's bag out of the car. Thank you guys for watching. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.